Good morning, everybody. My name is Andre Minigazzi. I'm from Commerce Tools and the head of sales there. And first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Miguel for inviting us here to come to Madrid and to be part of this fantastic event here. Thank you so much. I'd like to talk a little bit more about the fusion of content and commerce and how the customer of tomorrow will see their shopping experiences. When we see the consumer of today, those are totally demanding, they are well connected and totally informed about products and services and so on that they find in the internet. They use the internet via mobile devices mainly and collect product information about those devices. As well as they get inspired by entertaining and, and informating shopping experiences. <coughs> Especially the next generation, the digital natives, are looking for more like those two young ladies uh, behind me are telling us in the next two minutes. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Abby. And I'm Molly. And we're digital natives. And we love shopping. Three years ago, I was banging on about libraries, but I've matured. I'm into fashion. DKMY, Colleg Dinigan, Louis Vuitton, and my favorite, Marc Jacobs. I buy all my clothes online from my iPad too. They look so good on the big screen. People ask me about bricks and mortar store, but I can't find their website. Anyway, I digress. I'm here to inform you that we fashionistas of the future all want a great customer experience. It's multi-channel online engagement that anticipates what we want and when we want it. There should also be in dot sites, smartphone apps and live real-time shop assistants. Ways to help us when we get there. I'm in a constant state of information overload. So my friends are my most valuable asset. Before we start shopping, we read their recommendations, reviews, blogs, tweets and Facebook updates to find out what's hot right now. So if I want to know if the latest Prada dress looks better in pink or purple, I just social search what my friends like. Finally, when will you fashion people get with the program? The net is about personalization. I should be able to collaborate directly with designers to create an outfit especially for me. Now I'll totally be the coolest chick in Ray One. Now I know you're all working on this, but I'm a digital native and I want it now. Hurry up and get cracking. Isn't it cute? So the yesterday's recipes don't work any longer. If you go on Google, um, you will find a retailer that offers you the product you're looking for um, for a cheaper price. So competitors are nowadays are only one click away. Products are available in many places. Companies become replaceable. And competing for the highest conversion rate is less and less sensible. Plus, the transactional power has shifted. It's not the company in the center anymore. It's the consumer. It's a consumer-centric approach that we have outside there. So to cover that, one solution can be to give more shopping experience to the end customer, can be the content commerce. And content commerce is a combination of editorial content and e-commerce elements with videos, microsites, features, shopping guides, and so on. And the interaction and the engagement become the main driver instead of the conversion. When you do an, an approach like this, you will get a positive shopping experience for your customer. The customer is satisfied. You've got loyal customers you got lower custom uh, acquisition costs as well as multipliers. And the bigger brands out there, like for example Gab or the North Face in the US, are going exactly this kind of approach. Another example, in the UK there is Lush. 
as well as in Germany. I don't know if, if this is a brand here um, in, in Spain as well. You know, they are selling soaps and, and, and body lotions pretty, with a pretty strong perfume. They had those old-fashioned web shop and, and websites. And um, they, they want to do a little bit different. And they, they went into a complete redesigning. And uh, they, they tried to put the emotional from the POS in the website, in the shop. And what they did is an extremely good um, one to, to um, really satisfy the customer with um, all those little detailed sites and, and the shopping cart is on every step with you. So you are able as a customer to put this product that you're looking for and reading about directly into the shopping cart. The success on that and the result was <coughs> plus 75% website sessions on that. You have less than 16% card cancellations as well as 64% more online orders. And isn't that insane? Another example, a nearly seamless way, an example for accessible shopping inside of a magazine. It's a fashion retailer located in Hamburg in Germany and they are selling for male pretty exclusive uh, premium products, um, fashion products. And they have an editorial team which is built of um, yeah, fashion students and they're writing articles about fashion, about design, about um, living and, and, and lifestyle. And what they did is they combined those magazine articles with products out of the shop. And the customer is reading, for example, about this product in this article and is able to put this product directly into the shopping cart. And he don't step back from this typical marketing website and he's directly in the shop. And that's pretty cool. Another example, Grazia. It's a fashion magazine for women and they're writing about uh, the hottest um, fashion things about makeup and, and dressing and so on. And what they did is they, they used their experience about the product and about the, the knowledge about the products and combine it directly with the, with the selling approach. In the, in the magazine directly. And these are the numbers that they offer us um, what, they, what they did after they launched it. So they have plus then nearly 40% returning users. They have a, a higher time on site and, and a lower bounce rate. I don't know if you wrote this article about PayPal um, a couple of days ago. Um, they want to now go into the market with buy buttons without any limits, what they call it. So they offer buy buttons directly for apps, blogs, news feed, emails, and so on to attract their customer and to bring their customer the experience directly into the product and into the news feeds. Let's get a little bit more technical. So if we, if we want to go into some kind of approach, we need two kind of systems. One is the content management system. For example, something like Magnolia. Magnolia is pretty strong on that, and those kind of systems are not transaction-based. The focus is on flexible, personalized delivering on, of content, and they have editorial workflows in the back end, and that's pretty important for that. Plus, we need an e-commerce platform. They are based on transactions. They have efficient checkout processes on that. And they have search functionalities as well as they serve all the products from one centralized data point. The problem what we see in the market is that the all-in-one solutions that we find out there, like 
for example, Magento and Shopware and so on, PrestaShop, they don't work for such kind of approach. Because the all-in-one solutions, they don't have features like personalization and content targeting, as well as they're totally limited in scalability. Let's go more into details. We see three different kind of approaches to integrate a CMS with the e-commerce platform. The first is, and the weakest, is the cyber side approach. The second, a little bit stronger, is the commerce first approach. And the third one, and the real strong one, is the content first approach. Let's go more into details. Approach one, the side by side approach. It's really the two sides syndrome. It's totally old fashioned and it's outdated because you have two systems on each side and the customer is, it's, is the integration with his click on one button. And for an example, this is Fetus. It's a toy and, and uh, toy shop and, and uh, they offer goods for kids and they have those two sides. One is the marketing side in the back and you see the, the typical online shop button on, um, in, in, the, in the top row. And if the customer hit those button, he jump over into the shop. But you're losing the customer with your, with your marketing website. And that's pretty important. The second approach is the commerce first approach. On that approach, the e-commerce system is the leading system and, um, and um, they offer the entire content. The, the content um, management system, it's only for, let's say, the footer and, and, and the sliders on top and so on. But the strongest, oh, excuse me, an example, Zalando, pretty well known um, as well here in, 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 in Spain. It's a typical, um, one as well as cyberport. The strongest one is the approach three. It's the CMS first approach. There is the CMS functionality in the lead and the, the CMS is the system of record on that stage. The e-commerce functionality is built in the in the templates of the um, of the CMS system behind as a point, um, and it's only available if if the C, uh, if the um, commerce solution is offering an API, because you can use the API endpoints in the Magnolia, for example, template. Looking for some references where we work together, Magnolia and Commerce Tools, we are working for Whirl. Whirl is one of the biggest fashion retailers in southern Germany. And um, they have a concept, concept of different stages. The first stage now is the curated shopping, something like Outfittery or Moto Moto. They go in the in a, um, same approach like this. Um, so the male are able now to to decide between different kind of outfits, with different kind of brands. And after he went through all those stages, um, they will offer you some different kind of styles, some different kind of outfits, and send it to you at home. In the next stages, more and more the omni-channel will take place into Whirl. Um, and they will combine all those POS stores with the e-commerce functionality to get a 360 degrees um, approach there. Another example, Rewe, one of the biggest grocery retailers in Germany. And there is Magnolia and Commerce Tools as well. Magnolia is the, is the leading system here and the commerce functionality as a, as a detail is built in the templates of the existing CMS uh, um, system. So why is Magnolia and Commerce Tools the perfect match to do and go into an approach like this? Because Magnolia is easy to integrate. Magnolia is totally multi-channel ready. 
they have contemporary personalization engines inside and you are able to manage campaigns with it. And on the other side, Commerce Tools is also easy to integrate. We are 100% cloud, out of the box, and it has a fully fledged REST API with all the functionalities inside. And you have the highest availability in the market with those platform, with an SLA of 99.8% and a groundbreaking fast API with 100 millisecond on a get request API call. As well as we are offering lifetime updates and upgrades for you. Coming to an end, let's go into a summary. The customers are focused on retailers that offers inspiring and informative and personalized shopping experience today. So the separation of marketing websites and online shops are a relict of the past. And in the long run, customers neither be retained or gained by the cookie cutter approach. If you'd like to go more into details, I'd like to invite you to download um, this white paper, um, which was built uh, by a colleague of mine, Dr. Roman Senner. And uh, under this link, um, you are able to download it for free. So coming to an end, go the same way like this genius did years before. Build a shopping experience for your customer. Fascinate your customer and strong up your brand with such kind of approach. Thank you so much. Any kind of questions? Okay, uh, um, yeah, I'll be, we'll be around with my colleague Kai for the, for the entire day here, and um, feel free to get in the chat with me. Thank you so much.